a very good morning children and welcome back children as you already know we are doing a revision and we are doing language study okay so in the last video i did language study we will do again and some other kinds of questions okay so this is video 2 so i hope you have understood the first video and you have written all the answers in the notebook so you going to sit down again with your english notebook as we do this exercise okay so this will be the section 1 that comes for your exam as language study so let's get started then children as you see here section 1 language study and you know the first set of questions that is any four okay and each carries one mark as you already know there are five questions so you have to do any four so first is make meaningful sentence by using the given phrase give a cold look now as i told you whenever you get any phrases first you should try to understand what the phrase means okay now give a cold look here means when you give an unfriendly look means you are not friendly to a person and you just give a cold look to that person okay so that is what the meaning is so here the answer is a sentence tom gave mary a cold look as she entered the room okay so that is the sentence for the phrase give a cold look now form two past participles in which the last letter is double now in the earlier video we had present participles children so i want you to understand the difference when we say present participle it was what ing word no it was the present participle now the past participle will come with ed ed or you have en okay that is past participle so please children don't get confused with these two these are very important this is always a question that comes to the exam so present participle mein ing rahega lekin past participle past means action ho chuka hai na so when the action is over past will be ed ya en so you can learn these words as i told you even the previous video i gave you the present participle learn those by heart so that when it comes to exam you can just write it down so here in a past participle you have rub so the last letter is w so if you talk only rub r u b rub but when you write it as rubbed it will you are doubling it no so stunned so doubling the n and ed stopped you double the p and ed written so you double the t and e n you don't say written okay written e n past participle hmm? then now this is easy pick out the infinitives now i want to uh, just tell you that when i was looking into some of your papers now pick out the infinitive children some of you what you all are doing you all are only writing two you will not get it right okay you have to write two and the verb jo uske baju mein verb hai wo bhi likhna hai aapko in the infinitives so whenever you have to pick out the infinitive it will be two and the verb next to it so here it was so difficult to rob him so to rob will become the infinitive okay that is very easy but still some of you are making mistakes so therefore remember along with to to ke sath verb bhi aapko likhna hai infinitive hmm? then identify the type of sentence now you know type of sentence which we have already done okay it was there in the earlier question also you have imperative we did right now let us see which one is this i could manage well in a now this sentence is just a simple sentence this just a statement okay so, and is there any negative word in this negative koi word hai kya nahi if there is any negative word children then it will be negative sentence hmm? now there is no negative word no so that means it is affirmative sentence hmm please remember if no negative word is there and it is just a statement it becomes a affirmative 
you can even say it is assertive because assertive is just a statement made assertive can be negative or positive hmm? so this is positive here so you put it as affirmative sentence then spot the error and rewrite the sentence okay rewrite means wapas se likhna hai aapko a sentence but you have to spot the error and i gave you a clue last time no usually the clue comes in the i mean the error comes in the verbs so now the sentence given here is what the novel was publishing in 1952 now was publishing is wrong english okay it's a wrong verb you say the novel was published the action was over there okay was published so in 1952 so that is a error there in this sentence that is the mistake you have to correct and then you write the full sentence again the novel was published in 1952 let's move on to another set of questions now do as directed any two okay you have three and you have to do marks for each now here you have to identify the clause the nerves that control the muscles were shutting down now i told you when a sentence is given to you on clause student first you will find out what is which is where is the subordinating conjunction okay now subordinating conjunctions are word like that what where all these words should be. so from that till the end will be the subordinate clause so first you write down which is the verb main clause okay now first you see now that the nerves okay but the subordinate clause is that control the muscle till here it makes sense okay you don't have to go till the end so this is the subordinate clause and which will be the main clause the nerves were shutting down so you can see here the nerves were shutting down main clause that control the muscles okay that is subordinate adjective clause now why it is adjective clause because it is telling you more about the noun nerves okay so if you ask the question suppose you ask the question to the main clause suppose the nerves were shutting down which nerves were shutting down which that which control the muscle correct so it's answering the question which or what kind so when it answers the question which or what kind it is adjective clause clear now next is you have i asked my teacher why is he working outside you have to write it in indirect speech so you know when you write it in indirect speech you remove all these punctuations and you are writing it in the past tense so i asked my teacher why he was working outside clear this is in the indirect speech then she was sitting in my car now you have to change into past perfect continuous that means action is over and it is still going on ing okay so you will put it as what she had been sitting in my car always remember children that being comes when you have perfect okay past perfect continuous tense you always have to have that been so she had been sitting in my car now we have another set of questions now here this also comes as do as directed any one and this carries two marks as you know now you got to use the following word has noun and as verb in two different sentence we did this last time with another word Now today we are going to take another word. That is the word is cook. Hmm? Now what did I tell you? When you have to make this, you have to write two different sentences, no children. And when you are writing down, first you have to make it as noun. So when you make it as noun, means it has to be like a person, okay? And when you are making that cook as a verb, using it as a verb, we use it as an action, okay? So remember that when you are doing this question. So let's see. Now the first sentence here I put. the cook prepares delicious meals every day that's a noun isn't it because you're talking about a person cook correct so here in the sentence the word cook is what a noun now the same word cook i have to use it as what the verb 
So when I use it as a verb, how I put it, it has to be an action. So I cook my meal daily in the morning. This becomes a verb. So I made two sentences. I use the same word cook. But here I have used it as a noun. And here I have used it as a verb, as an action. Hmm? So I told you when you are writing the sentence next to that, please put it whether it is noun or whether it is verb. So that the one who is correcting the paper will understand what you are trying to say, you know, which is noun and which is verb. Clear? Now, the next sentence. This is also a very important uh, sentence. Usually comes for the exam. He is one of the greatest mathematicians in the world. Now, change the degree. Now, he is one of the. He is one of the. See, now, the clue word is, you know, children, one. When it, when it comes, he is one of the greatest means, there are many other. Okay? But if I say, he is the greatest means, there is no other. Clear? So, that you must see when you are solving. First, read that sentence very carefully. So, now, let, now you have to change the degree. First, you have to find out which degree this is in. Now, you tell me, children. Now, the word there is greatest. So, it is superlative degree. You have to make it now what? Into positive and comparative. So, let's do, do it. And I told you when it comes as, is one of the, the positive degree mein kya aega? Very few. This word is a clue word. Okay. Very few mathematicians are as great as he is in the world. So, you see in the positive degree, very few and as great as. So, great is the positive degree and both side is as as. Okay, this is how it should be. And then comparative, how do you write it? He is greater. Because great and then greater is in comparative. No, So, he is greater than. That is very important. This word is very important here. Greater than most of the mathematicians in the world. That is comparative. Okay, so you have changed it from superlative. You have changed it into positive and comparative. All right. So, this is another video that I shared with you. It's regarding the language study. I just want to share with you a quote. It says, success isn't overnight. It's when every day you get a little better than the day before. It all adds up. Yes, I know some of you are really working hard for your exams. Okay. I know there are difficulties. There's going to be difficulties. And difficulties are going to make us stronger children. Success doesn't happen overnight. One day you study, the next day you don't study. It's not going to happen that way, children. You have to study it every day. Okay? Little, little effort you put every day. Try your best. Push yourself. A little better than the day before. Yesterday you did little. Today you must do more than what you did yesterday. And all of this will add up to you. Don't get worried about your exam. It's going to happen. But you have to study. You have to prepare. That is important. And do it every day. Whatever you're doing, it, do it with love. And it's going to happen. It's all going to add up to your success. So, I hope this video has helped you to understand the land study a little more better. Then I'll be sending you a link. Okay. The Google uh, test link that you can so okay thank you children and keep studying well take care of your health and god bless you